and probably the driest I've seen it since we moved here, what, 15 years ago? Wow. But a lovely club, lovely friendly club. That's Hobley. Yeah. That's Hobley. It is. <laughs> I've always got on well with them, I think. They're and wonderful uh, people, aren't they? They are indeed. You know, I've known many worlds, hospitals, local government, Fleet Street, radio, theatre, and soccer. I've never known a better world than the world of cricket. I've never known any section of the community who had fewer villains. I don't know, there's something almost like semi-pro about Hobley at times. There is at times. They've got all the gear. Yeah, I'm not sure about all the idea, but you know, it, it's a, it is a professional looking setup, and particularly when viewed from such an angle. Yeah, yeah. I'm sort of heartened really by the sort of quality that Hobley have got in every sort of aspect of the club, really. Yes. Top to bottom. Top to bottom, one would say. And that's what you want, isn't it? The uh, ex-council officers are going to be used as uh, desirable residents for future players. Yeah, and what, what a view they're going to get, officials. aren't they? To view down onto yeah, the cricket. Yeah, probably have the chairman having the penthouse up the top. Be nice up chairman. There. I'd like one of those, wouldn't you? Do you want a glass? No, no. Don't worry about glass. 150 please. There you go, you got a 50 there. There you go. Thank you much. Yes, of course, yes. Chief Barman at Hobley. Hit me. At the same tea towel for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very human activity, isn't it? In the course of six hours, any cricketer is going to show more of his character than, for instance, a soccer player will in an hour and a half. And uh, anyone comes to appreciate them as human beings. Like the score as it rises, as does Hobley stock in the yes, cricket indeed. world, becoming a, a rather well known and talked about club. One only needs to look up on the bank there today. The amount of spectators, you know, car park full to capacity. Cues coming out of the uh, yep. out of the clubhouse where the bar is. And, and it's just all is well. Another day, another day at the, you know. I suppose one could equate the uh, uh, Hobley like the remain the the rest of the cricket teams the, that the, we're the oasis in the middle, a green oasis, whereas the rest of the cricket clubs are browning off around the outside, yes, rather very, like this outfield. Very tatty around the edges. Yes. We're still managing to maintain. Excellent. I, but we're at the groundsman's hut here, which is uh, a place of yeah. worship almost. It's almost like a sanctuary. The hub. Everything goes on here. All the decisions are probably made in this groundsman hut. The tales that they could tell you. Mm, I'm sure. Yeah. While sitting on a roller. Yeah. Nothing we like better than to see a nice tight whitewash line, is there? Oh. We like all that. Yes. But it's its own little sort of community down here. Oh. It's very much a community. One it's like a call. town of its own, yeah. isn't it? Almost principality status. Yeah. You could say that with people from Hobley would almost feel warranted in having their own passports. They talk, when you, when you talk to people who come here, they're so affectionate about it all, aren't they? They talk about it with such sort of meaning and deep, they love it. They love just coming down here, yeah. either on a Saturday, also on a Sunday, you know, when there's a- just... Or even during the week when there's no game. Yes. I'll see people just milling around the boundaries. Gaze. So desperate to watch a game of cricket that they'll actually watch the square the odd being watered. Just gazing over the wall, it, wondering, is it, you know, is there a game? Oh, there's not. You can almost see the disappointment when they gaze over the wall and there's nothing actually going on. Coming down to Hobley could change your life. Yeah. Think about that before you shut your eyes and go to bed at night.
It's almost seemed like a pipe dream to me. I couldn't believe it was possible when it first happened, and I still sometimes wake up in the night and think, well, how on earth, why on earth did all this happen? <laughs> Don't read the bike, because that is just ironic. We go all right. We so who's right. been inspired? Shot. Oh. Tell us who your inspiration is. Why you didn't you say we're in sync? All of us? No. No one's just going on. Yeah, it's um, really the sort of clubhouse is the lifeblood and the pumping station, if you like, of the of Hobley. Really, it's, it's your typical village. Would you say village cricket? You know, a buzz Saturday buzz. Oh, it's you know everything that you want to know about Saturday cricket. People. At Hobley is here, as you can tell. It's, yeah. um, People queuing at the bar for drinks. Oh. You know, just just an atmosphere, a, a carnival type yeah. arrangement. As the song goes. Yes. What? Oh, what an atmosphere! Oh, what an! I love a party. Who was that? Russ Abbott. I don't know. He would have oh. enjoyed it. Oh, a little faint cry, cry from, from the behind. middle. Hobley are batting at the moment. Chelsea yes, they 277 are. 277 against um, Hickstead. I would be honest and say that sounds quite a steep. A steep target. Of course, we present the uh, well. What was the weekly Hobley show until the uh, committee put a kibosh on us? Yes. And told us to stop. But uh, yeah, you might have seen us on YouTube from the Score Hut. There. Live from Hobley Cricket Club but, Score Hut. But uh, I think they thought that we were a tad derogatory towards some of the uh, players, so they knocked that one on the head. Yeah. So um, yeah, I don't know. You know what's going to go on? Whether we're going to get our jobs back or what? But. I'm sort of in limbo really myself, really not sure what I'm going to do. I've done very little since, Yeah. very, very little. Yeah. Yeah, that was about twice. That was big end of the buddy. Stunned when the rabbit was chasing. Comes around, that's coming out under that gate. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, things that go on at Hobley. Yeah, you see that? Stoke racing. Here he comes. Here he goes. See him? Yeah. Yeah, too late, mate. He's gone the other way. Really friendly local club. Anything else? No, that's all I've got to say about the matter. Oh!